William Nair out here, the Paradise Guy, sitting here up on the hammock. Tonight, it is another edition of Hammock Time. Tonight, we're gonna to talk about getting rich in a niche. Yes, this is a very common saying in the investment world, meaning don't try to be all things to all people, meaning you should invest in things that you know about, things that have a high demand, and things that have a long-term future potential for producing cash flow. And if you do those three things, well, you're gonna hopefully properly position yourself to be extremely successful going forward. Down here in Mexico, we're doing just that right now. We are working with some developers that are looking at some projects that are integrating some of the greatest trends right now. One is affordable housing. You see, housing is becoming elusive for so many, especially retirees in Mexico because the market is being pushed up because the demand is so high. And as inflation creeps in and the cost of materials goes higher, well, that affects the purchase prices as well. Then when you factor in the fact that the peso is stronger against the dollar and the Canadian dollar than it has been in a very, very long time, well, that kind of works against you as well. So how do you edge against this? Well, you find out how to invest in things that are properly priced. Well, we are working with a developer right now that is doing some affordable housing. We're really excited about this because affordable housing down here doesn't exist unless it's really for the local population. But what about the expat population that wants to come down here and is on a fixed retirement income? What about them? Well, they used to be able to come down to Mexico and buy whatever they want and live wherever they wanted to live or, or rent something. But you know, rental prices have gone up exponentially and we've seen uh, purchase prices for homes and condos and land go up as well. So what are you to do? Well, you might be able to align yourself with developers like the one that I'm working with right now that's doing affordable housing, but also doing things to mitigate the daily expenses like, well, not daily, monthly expenses like electricity. So imagine um, sustainable projects. Imagine affordable housing. Imagine something that was built like that with infrastructure, meaning it had parks, it had areas for dogs, it had maybe play areas for the kids, it had swimming pools, it had running and or walking paths, and it was close to the beach. Can you have all of that at an affordable price? Well, according to this developer and the projects that are coming forth, yes you can. So if you're interested in something like that, I encourage you to hit me up now at info at paradiseguy.com. Happy to start sending you some preliminary information and get you in line so that if you decide this is something you want to do, that you can be the one to strike first. Because if you know anything about development, those people that buy in early always get the best deals. They have the instant equity appreciation that happens as more and more sales take place. And when the development is done and everything is built, and if they have some property in there, well, they're set up to make a small fortune. So if that sounds enticing to you, again, I look forward to hearing from you. And with that, I'd like to thank you again for joining me on another episode here of, well, what do we call it? That's right, hammock time. We'll see you on the next one, my friends. Cheers.